Welcome back to Malicious Intent. This is part three. We have three matches left to go. And right now our next match for the XGWL professional title. As Tommy Kazarian is set to defend his title up against El Toro Extremo in a mixed martial arts match. What's that mean? There's only two ways to win this match. Submission or knockout. I think this is one that could favor Tommy Kazarian. I know he defeated El Toro Extremo before to take the title from ETE, but can he defeat him again and hold on to that pro title? Or well, what if El Toro Extremo can win and be a three-time XGWL pro champion? I mean, I mean this. You know what they say, anything can happen in the world of CAW. I know the fans here are loving Tommy Kazarian. U.S. and C Canadian dual citizen. And now here comes the evil, demonic, ruthless... Former two-time XGWL Pro Champion El Toro Extremo. I mean, you can see it in his eyes. Just no remorse. No anguish. Just pure evil. Rem no remorse. Looking to hurt somebody. Looking to put them to beat them till they bleed. That's how ruthless El Toro Extremo is. I mean, let's look at the tail of the tape real quickly. Tommy Kazarian about 6'2", 228 pounds. El Toro Extremo, 6 foot even, 285 pounds. Big size difference here between these two. Two different styles. Kazarian MMA trained high flyer. El Toro Extremo pure brawler, more of the hardcore style. Can put in some power. And here we go. The match is started. El Toro Extremo starting it off with a neck breaker. Just going to work on the early goings of this match. And now Tommy Kazarian trying to make a comeback here. Man, I'm surprised he was able to pick up El Toro Extremo and slam him down. And now, going below the belt. Kick there by Tommy Kazarian. And now, El Toro catching him with the knee to the face. And now, it delivers a devastating clothesline, knocking him down. Remember, no pinfalls, only submissions or knockouts in this mixed martial arts match. And now, punch there by El Toro. I mean, rope breaks are in effect. Oh, misses a savat kick. And now, reversal to the ropes. And oh, nicely done with that Japanese arm drag. And now, scoop slam. Remember, it's a one fall. Submission or knockout. And connects with that springboard body splash. I know too many pinfalls you see in a lot of CEW leagues. Or, but not too many submissions or... By way of Naka, unless it's, unless it's in CCL. <laughs> and now Toro just a stop to the midsection and the, the clothesline to knock him back down. Kaz getting back up. Hits him with that heel kick. And now Kaz picking him up. Once he got planned for your. Oh, what a DDT. And now Tommy Kazarian. Oh, wait. And Toro with a rake of the eyes. I don't think that. Either of these two want to give up here. They both want to win this match badly. This rivalry that's been going on. I mean, it all started. Oh, he missed. Went to the well once too often. I mean, it all started when El Toro Extremo won the pro title for a second time, attacking Danny Jackpot after it. Even though Danny Jackpot's not here in XGWL anymore, but. Regardless of the point, then Tommy Kazarian ch challenged the goal for the pro title. Oh, what a what a haymaker! 
And these two have been going at it since then. I don't know if this is going to be the end of the run or it's going to be another step. Is there left more to go? Wait! Oh! Out of nowhere, the Toro Core! And now, El Toro Dragon, remember, no pinfalls. But wait, he has him in the submission hold. Trying to make him tap out. Can he do it? And no, El Toro letting go. I thought his, well, his grip looked like it was slipping from him. And now, plants him with that DDT. Tommy Kazari, he's got to pick it up here. Gotta use his speed and quickness here to to get on that bicycle a bit and try to get some distance and try to regroup here. But this the high flying aerial attack of of Tommy Kazarian has been halted momentarily. But as Thor truck, damn, we just hit him with that scuzz stinger. Even though Tommy Kazarian was trying to fight out of it, but he couldn't couldn't get away from the grasp. And El Thor was just Staying on top of things here. And just continue the elbow drop. And Tommy Kazarian gained back up. Hits him with that heel kick. Trying to pick up the momentum. And now Thoro with a go behind. With a go behind. Nice counter. And now and Thoro just hits him with that death press. Just those vicious punches. Got him with that elbow. Yada. Picking him up. Keeping that momentum and now. Oh! Oh, nice counter! Try to go for a suplex, but no. Tommy Kazarian counters and hits him with the neck breaker now. Going to the top rope. High risk. Nicely done. Connecting with the moonsault. And now, dragging him away from the ring. Off from the ropes, I mean. And now, let's go with another haymaker. Oh, another neck breaker. He's got to isolate a take out a body part. I think for for Tommy Kazarian's sake, he's got to go attack the head. And now, submission hold, nowhere to go. Can he tap out or can he get out of it? But it's let go. let's go of the hold. And now the fans are clearly behind Tommy Kazarian. A nice neck breaker. Tommy Kazarian, the North American ninja, hailing originally from Florida, but moved to Vancouver, Canada. Oh, elbow, and now Kaz back up. Got him in a side headlock. And now, oh, going for a submission hold. Try to go for that Boston crap. Got him. Can he make him t tap out? Can he submit here? He's got that. That Boston Crab locked in, but El Toro able to power out of it. And now both men getting back up. Try to focus on the arm. Not too bad of a strategy. And now, Tommy Kazarian. Oh, misses that Pele kick. And now El Toro with an elbow to the back. What's he got planned here? The strength there with that gut wrench suplex. Man, that, and El Toro has been just targeted that midsection all day long. And now, go with a surfboard. Do they have enough to get out of this? No! He taps out! What? He, he get No way! Oh, man. What a, what a victory there by El Toro. I mean, I thought that, that Tommy Kazarian would have had the will to, to get out of it, but, but the punishment he took throughout the match was just too much. We've already had four titles changing hands tonight. The record is five at Thug Life from last year. That's the record five. And we've already had four so far. Team 619 was able to retain their titles. John Pryor was able to win the pure title. Nikki Cornejo and Jade Kim won the women's tag team titles. Moonlight is the new women's champion. And now, El Toro Extremo. The new XGWL Pro Champion. Man, we have two great matches left. The next match for the richest prize in XGWL. The Extreme Global Wrestling League Ultimate World Heavyweight Champion. That's the long name of it. The short name, the XGWL Ultimate Title. There it is. Extreme Tony. 
the champion. Going to be defending his title against three opponents. There's one of those opponents is on his way now. The Demon King and Zordekai. The other two, AJ Cool. The third one, The Great D. Those are three very tough opponents that Extreme Tony has to defend his XCW Ultimate title up against. The former three-time XGW Ultimate Champion Exordikai. There he is. Man, that guy is just plain scary. Seven foot two, 330 pounds. Also former two-time XGW Tag Team Champion with his cousin Zodiac. I mean, he holds the record for holding the most championships in XGWL with five total. Three holding the ultimate title and twice more being one half of the tag team champions. Try to get me a little coffee there because, man, I'm going to need it because, man, with all this tension, man, I just need to relax a little bit because, because Exotica scares me. I know some people like to drink Coca-Cola. Oh, nameless. <laughs> Even though that guy drinks a lot of Coca-Cola, I'm still worried about it. If he's gonna about that high fructose corn syrup that they put in in that Coca-Cola, man. You know what? 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 What I'm wondering. I wonder if what would, what would happen if everybody boycotted Coca-Cola and, and their stocks plummeted to zero to take down one of these too big to fails. I don't know, just a thought that just occurred in my mind. I don't know, with all this stuff with the Occupy movements, hopefully that there's some real change. I know Extreme Tony posted that that he's fully 100% supports the Occupy movements that have been going on across the world, especially in the United States. But anyways, here comes AJ Cool. Why is he wearing red now? Man, I'm, you know, with, with AJ Cool, I mean, I mean, this guy, I mean, he's un very unpredictable. Will we'll beat down a lot of people. Now, what's up with him teaming up with forming an alliance with John Pryor and El Toro Extremo. I know he hasn't won a, any championships here in XGWL. I know AJ Cool's about 5'10", 225. I mean, don't let the size fool you. He, he can really go. And now, speaking of guys that can go here, the Great D. Former three-time XGWO Pro Champion and former XGWO Ultimate Champion. What I'm wondering is, can he win the Ultimate title again? Can he become a two-time XGWO Ultimate Champion? I mean, that would give him the title with Exotikai for most number of titles held in XGWO. I mean, Dragon Boy also has... Also is tied with that record with five, holding the Crusado title four times and the Pro title once. We'll have to make a correction. The one who actually has the record is Mac into the Max Richard. Let's not forget that Team 619 are the current tag team champions and held those titles. Now they hold them for a fourth time and Mac into the Max is the former two-time Crusado champion. So Mac into the Max Richard has the record with six. But can't... But if, if, if Exotica can win the title again, of course, he would be tied with that record with six. Man. Man, can you imagine the Great D winning the title again? Or AJ Cool or Exotica? Or can Extreme Tony be able to successfully defend his title here against three of the toughest opponents here in XGWL? I know the great D is six foot six, two hundred sixty pounds, a phenomenal athlete for Extreme Tony. I mean, he's shown that he is serious about 
retaining his XGW Ultimate title, holding that title for a third time. Extreme Tony, about five foot ten, two hundred and forty-eight pounds. Man, this is the best shape, physical condition I've seen Extreme Tony in ever. I know when he held the XGW Ultimate title for the first time, he was up at two ninety. I was, I was surprised he was able to, to go the distance with Carnage back in that first pain full back in 2007, but he did it. And, and Extreme Tony does have to to let, rely on this his new newfound quickness that he has to to use a lot more often than than he has in the past, especially against Exotic High. I know. As they say, if you're not here to go after that title, you have no business belonging here. And here we go. The match is underway. Damn, what a punch there by AJ Cool. And what's with this hairstyle that he, cha he changed it up now? XC misses with that knife edge chop. And now XC. Oh, and a great deal with a double team on AJ Cool. And the great D missed is trying to go after. Oh, what the? What? Damn! What in the world? That reverse suplex by Exoticon, the, the great D sending him to the outside. What the? What in the world is Elthoric Serma doing? Now he's coming in. What? What the? No, don't tell me he's going to help out AJ Cool. Yeah, now I know why, why AJ Cool is wearing those colors. And now, now a double team on Extreme Tony there by AJ Cool and Dota Extremo. XC try to fight, try to fight off AJ Cool here. And now the Great Deep battling with Exotica on the outside, just working on that arm. XC just clothesline, floats over to another clothesline, and now into a third clothesline. And now the. All four men back in this ring, including El Toro. And why is he still there? No, now the Great D trying to go after El Toro there. And now, Bulldog there by XC hitting that Bulldog on XO. And now, El Toro just trying to go after. Oh, what an Enziguri kick there by the Great D on XT. And now, Greatness. With a modified camel clutch on the champ. I mean, the champion does not have to be involved in the decision. I mean, the first one to score the pinfall or submission will win the title. That's the rule in this fatal four-way. There's also a note, also no disqualifications. So we are gonna have. Oh, what a punch! Taking down XT now. Great deal with a DDT on the. To Exoticai. And now XT gained, gained back up. XT with those kicks of the shins on AJ Cool. And now XT with a waist lock. And now hits him with that side rush and leg sweep. And what an arm drag by greatness. And now XT going for the cover. One. Man. Great D to, to interrupt the pin. Damn. And now double team on onto AJ Cool. Irish whip. A couple of punches and a couple of kicks there by XT. I know Extreme Tony not the best brawler out there, but he'll throw that jab there to kind of like a smoke screen to try to set up some set up his moves like a boxer would, how he would throw the jab and set up with hooks and uppercuts. Yeah. If if you're fighting on the inside or 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 double up on the jab and go with a cross if you're an outside fighter. And now the Exotic Kai bringing in the chair, but XT hits him with that steamroller. And now going to the top rope. And Exotic Kai gained back up. And now XT. Oh! What a clothesline. And now AJ Cool with that rolling thunder under the great D. And now XT with that arm bar wrenching on that arm. Try to go for a, probably set up for a submission hole later now. XT, greatness into a collar and elbow. 
XD is able to win that one. And a snap suplex. Nicely done. You see that torque that he just put in there. And now XD has a hold of the steel chair. Oh. He missed. And now XT. Oh. Great D has the has the chair now. Take it away from XT. And he misses with that chair. XT grabbing the hold of the chair again. And now just wedging it in between those turnbuckles. And now collar and elbow tie up. Oh, what a clothesline. And now AJ Cool the go behind onto the great D. And now Exotica has a hold of XT. Tony tried to fight out of it. But he couldn't. Got hit with that gun stinger. Damn. I know that the objective here to win that ultimate title. That's what everyone in XGW strives for. Hopefully that they're striving for that. And now the great D. Wow, what a German suplex. He got him good and and XT just got hit with that DDT and wait, XT getting back up. And what a bulldog there by Exoticai trying to kill any of any of the momentum that XT was trying to to build there now. XT getting back up. Oh, Exorcai just hits him in the midsection. And XT just shake the cobwebs. And now XT, what's he going for here? With a takedown. And XT still trying to shake the cobwebs. He's, I mean, there's a lot of the. He's been, a lot of the attacks have been focused on him because, I mean, he's he's the one that, as the champ, he's holding the, he's the one holding the target around his chest. And now, Great D with a pin. The cover. One, two, and XT in, interrupting the pin. His title was at stake there. Like I said, the champion does not have to be involved in the, in the decision. And now the cover. One, two. Almost two. And now XT with that with that Cobra clutch. And now transitioning into a side rush and leg sweep. Very innovative there by XT. Now XT. Tony with a cover. And Exorticai there to quickly break that up. Wow, what a punch there by AJ Cool. Now kick to the midsection. And now an elbow. Damn. Now, was it? And now, Exorica with that leg drop. And now getting back in the ring. All four of these men in the ring. In this fatal four way. Damn, an XT knocking AJ Cool right off the ring apron. Oh, what an Inziguri kick by the Great D. And XC is down. AJ Cool getting back in the ring and XC back up and now a double team move on the Great D. Wow. And now Tony going to the top rope. Going high risk. Wow, what a moonsault. Damn. That was amazing. And now he's going for the cover. One, two. And AJ Cool with the interruption there of that pin. You can't say he's safe because it's not a tag team match. Same thing, just different terminology. And and XT and Exorticai knocked out of the ring apron. Knocked out of the ring. And now Exorticai going after XT. AJ Cool going after the Great D. And now the Great D getting back up. Oh, misses that Pele kick. And now Exorticai with a clothesline to AJ Cool. Just staying on the on the offensive here, and now XT getting back up, try to shake the cobwebs, try to gather his thoughts together. And now XT sending AJ Cool up and over, and knocking AJ Cool off the ring apron. Damn! Kick to the midsection by Exoticai, sending XT to the ropes. 
and actually able to recover there. And now, Tony going to kick to the midsection on the XO. And now, double team on XT. I mean, all friendships have to be put on the side there for the sake of going after that XGW Ultimate title. And Exotica has been knocked out of the ring. And now, XT with a couple of strikes there. And now, oh, what a DDT there by greatness. XT is down. And now, Irish Whip. Ducks under. Oh, misses. XT able to re rebound there. And the cobwebs, I mean, the effect of this matchup. And AJ Cool's been busted open as he dons the Crimson Mask. Almost the same color as this shirt that he has on. Oh, what a choke slam there by Exordikai. And now XT being sent over to the ring apron. And now knocked off the ring apron to the outside. And now the Great D with a cover. One, two, almost three as Exordikai able to interrupt the pin. And XT still trying to shake the cobwebs. And the fans are behind the champ right now. And now XT. Oh, nicely done. Try to go with a key lock, but AJ Cool able to get the foot underneath the rope. And now XE just going after the leg right there. And XT with a leg drop onto the Exordikai. And now AJ Cool with a again with a rolling thunder this time to Exordikai. And AJ Cool stopping away at the at Exordikai. XT catching a breather. Rethink his game plan and now delivers a float over DET onto Exordikai. And now going for the cover. One. And the great deal interrupting the pin. And now go behind. And now AJ Cool sending. Oh, what a counter by the great deal out of the corner. Now XT with that with that reverse DET. And try to go for the sharpshooter, but. Exordikai able to, to get out of it. The counter and now XT going for the Padre Popper. And oh, he got it. And now the great deal with a cover on H.A. Cool and he was able to interrupt that. And now XT's focusing his attention on, on the falling Exordikai. Now the cover, but too close to the ropes. And XT, I mean, the effects of this match, unable to get his. Is keep his balance there and the great D send him to the corner right there. And now HA Cool with a bulldog, the clothesline and a bulldog. And the champ is down right now. And and right now, Exordica is, is the one who's standing right now. The other three opponents are down and now just punching away at the champ now. Damn, those punches. And now the great D slow to get up the cover. And XT able to kick out. And what a spinning heel kick by the Great D onto AJ Cool. And now Tony going with a going with a shin breaker. Oh, what an Izaguri kick. And a kick below the belt there by Exotikai. Ouch. And now the Exotikai has a hold of XT. Tony tried to fight out of it. And he does. Kicks him in the midsection now. Swing a neck breaker. And now Exotica getting back up. And now XT sending the great deal to the corner. Exotica able to meet XT with a with that bulldog. Oh what a clothesline knocking down AJ Cool. And now with an uppercut on the great D. Just going to work here. The fans are getting behind the great D. Man, as we're here live in Manila in the Philippines. What a sh what a chop block. Damn, I don't know. I mean, it, it's anyone's match right here. Any, I mean, it, it could be won by anybody here. I mean, this has been going back and forth throughout the entire match. And now XC with, with a counter. Well, well, this chain wrestling that's going on, very impressive here. And now XT 
dragging AJ Cool to the center of the ring. And now, go with the abdominal stretch. Try to make him submit here. And the great D interrupting the submission hold. And now, XT. Going with another submission hold. This time, the Juju Tatami. Or the cross arm breaker. Yeah, I know that that Joel Knight is better with, with those submission holds than I am. And what a spinning heel kick there by the great D. And now, Irish Whip. Oh, he missed. And now, countered by the Exoticai onto Greatness. And you can see the fatigue setting in. And nice drop kick there by XT. And now, Irish Whip. And now, oh no. What a double team maneuver onto AJ Cool. Now, the cover. The Great D has the cover. He won. What an upset. The Great D is your new XGW Ultimate Champion. And wow, did he win it? Holding that XGW Ultimate title for a second time. Now that's what he called greatness. Right there. The Great D, your new XGW Ultimate Champion. What a what a victory. And we just tied the record for five titles changing hands in, in a CPV and man. <laughs> the thing that now the question is. Who will be challenging the Great D at In The House 5? That is the question here. Basically the rules is two men will start it off and in due time more more of the participants will be coming down the ring in orders 1 through 20 in this 20 men over the top rope organized match. The winner of course will get a shot at the XGW Ultimate title In The House 5. So who's going to enter number 1? Well, there, well, there's the answer right there. Chad Miller. He is entry number one. With his size and all that. There could be a chance he could go the distance. I mean, look at this that big frame of his. Six foot nine, 360 pounds. Clearly the biggest man here at XGWL. Former football offensive lineman. His menacing. His evil menacing. Well, I don't know if we can say evil because that, that word is reserved for Exoticai. But Chad Miller is not one you want to mess with. That's for sure. And he is the first entrant in this 20-man over-the-top rope organized chaos. I don't know if he'll win it though, but there's a chance he could because it's going to be a very tall order to try to send him over the top rope, that's for sure. Oh, <laughs> Entry number two, Brandon Thomas. I don't know how he's going to to win this one. But for the for this first for the first two minutes he's gonna have to keep some distance away from Chad Miller and hopefully the, the next few entries can help him out to try to eliminate Chad Miller over the top rope. Because that's what his game plan has to be if he can win if he wants to win this one. Because this organized chaos match is definitely an opportunity of a lifetime for a lot of these guys. And this is their shot. Can they make the most out of it? You see him right there. Brandon Thomas. Entry number two. And here we go. And I don't know how Brandon Thomas could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Chad Miller. That is an extremely tall order. Especially the size difference. Brandon Thomas is only 5'11", 188 pounds. This is that Pele kick. I mean, he's giving up 170 pounds, almost his, his whole weight. And now, we see who's entry number three. 
and it's Sergeant Arturo Loco. And now we, now he and Mac into the Max Richard won the won their tag team match against Big Business. I mean, I mean this should be very interesting to see here. And now we're waiting to see who's going to be entrant number four. Oh wow, got countered there. And our entry number four, Richie Stein. Uh, we have a couple of tag teams being repre represented right now, and, and rivals, I might add. And now, we're getting a countdown to see who's going to be entrant number five in this one. And now, Richie Stein trying to eliminate Arturo Loco. And now, oh no, entrant number five, Paul Berlin, and oh. There's our first elimination. Sergeant Arturo Luck was gone. And Paul Berlin is slowly making his way to the ring. Oh, what a DDT there by Chad Miller. I know the I know they may hate they may hate Team Deutschland, but I know a lot of there's some people there dancing to to this to their theme song. <laughs> it's pretty funny though. Oh, misses that close item. Oh, and, and there goes Brandon Thomas up and over and eliminated now. Oh, great. Extra number six is Patrick Hamburg, the leader of Team Deutschland. What the? Richie Stein trying to eliminate his tag team partner. And and Paul Berlin not letting that happen. Can't believe we have all three members of Team Deutschland at the same time. Where's the, where's the loyalties here? I thought they would be teaming up against Chad Miller right here. Let's see who's at trip number seven. Dragon Boy! Oh, what a counter there. Here comes Dragon Boy making his way to the ring as, as we saw Brandon Thomas got eliminated not too long ago. And now, Paul Bullitt trying to eliminate his leader. What? No way. And now, Dragon Boy in the ring now. And, oh, there goes Patrick Hamburg up and over. Gone. Bye. And now, we're counting down to see who's entrant number eight. Oh, great. Slash, the King of Hurt, making his way to the ring now. And now, oh, what a bulldog there by Dragon Boy. A slash the King of Hurt slowly making his way to the ring. And I'm a little surprised there that that there's no that there's no loyalty in Team Deutschland. And now Chad Miller going after Paul Berlin. And now and now Paul Berlin trying to eliminate Richie Stein. And there he goes. Bye. <laughs> Damn. Wow. And what? How, Dragon Boy, he just eliminated Chad Miller. How in the world did that just happen? And now entrant number nine, Apollo, making his way toward the ring. And Chad Miller and Richie Stein both eliminated a minute from each other. And now, what a senton by Dragon Boy. And now Paul Valen just laying the strikes down to slash the King of Hurt. And now, Apollo in the ring now. I mean, it's unfortunate how how Trey Steele was was taken out, and and Rick Gasson said he's going to take his place. Speaking of someone has been eliminated, is was Bruno Battaglia earlier as Chris Klein just took him out, and he got got to be taken out of the stretcher now. Edge number ten. Wait, Slash has been eliminated by Dragon Boy, and on his way to the ring now, Alejandro Ison. And now, making a run for it, now, as as the hometown hero now, as as Alex Eisen is from the Philippines, and now, oh, nice head scissors takedown, let's see, entrant number 11, Mike Mexico, yeah, <laughs> how typical, trying to avenge the loss of his, of his tag team partner now. And now Apollo tried to eliminate Dragon Boy here. And Dragon Boy, yeah, with a counter. 
and Mike Mexico try to eliminate Paul Berlin. Can he do it? Oh, what a drop kick and out. And there goes the last representative of Team Deutschland, Paul Berlin, eliminated. Let's see who's entered number 12. And now Alex Eisen trying to eliminate Mike Mexico now. Chris Cash, the 12th entrant in this 20 man over the top rope organized chaos. And now there goes Mike Mexico eliminated by Alex Eisen. And now Chris Cash slowly making his way to the ring. And now Alex Eisen trying to eliminate Apollo here. And now Chris Cash is in the ring. And oh, bye bye Apollo. Oh, what a spinning heel kick there by Chris Cash. I think this is the day, the the first time I've seen Chris Cash in this 20-man or, organized chaos match. Let's see who's going to be. Number 13, his tag is twin brother and tag team partner Joey the Money Dollars. Both members of Cash Money Inc. are in the ring and now the brothers are going out of here. What? I mean, we saw this before with Team Deutschland earlier. Come on, you two guys are brothers. How you guys are attacking each other? Twin brothers, I might add. Let's see who's entered number 14. Chris Klein. And I have to say, what a what a match he had against Bruno Battaglia earlier, taking him out and putting him in a stretcher. Now, Joey Dollars and Dragon Boy try to eliminate Alex Eisen. Can they do it? And there he goes. Damn. And what a run that Alex Eisen had. Unfortunately, his night had to end. And now Chris Klein in the ring. Now we gain the countdown. Let's see who's entering number 15. Where is Dragon Screw? And now, John Pryor, the new XGW Pure Champion. And now, Dragon Boy. Oh, we got a piece of him with that. That corkscrew sent on. And now, countered by Joey Dollars. Kick to the midsection. And now, what's Dragon Boy doing? Wait, what the? Hurricane! Damn, and there goes Joey Dollars eliminated from this match. And now, John Pryor going after Dragon Boy there. Oh, what a counter by Chris Cash. And now, we, as we get the countdown going, Chris Cash trying to eliminate Chris Klein. And now clothesline from John Pryor. And now entered number 16. There he is, Rick Gasson, who who took out Trey Steele earlier in the night. I can't believe that that Rick Gasson would do that. Now he's in the, in this organized chaos match. I can't believe it. And now John Pryor to eliminate Chris Cash. And there he goes, up and over. And now Cash Money Inc. has been eliminated from this match. And, oh, what an arm drag there by Dragon Boy. Very impressive now as we continue the countdown. Let's see who's the next entrant. And now Dragon Boy sending Chris Klein to the, to the ropes. And entrant number 17 is Sherman. Doesn't he have a chance to win it? I know Sherman is one title away from, from being XGWL's first ever Grand Slam champion. He's won the Crusado title before. He's won the, the Pro title before. And, and there goes Rick Acid, eliminated by John Pryor. And Sherman, he, he was one half of the tag team champions. The only title that Sherman has left to capture is that XGW Ultimate title. And now, Chris Klein, Chris Klein trying to eliminate Dragon Boy. Enter number 18, Tommy Kazarian. Trying to get a little retribution here. A little redemption as he can try to get get this shot at the ultimate title at In the House 5. And now Kaz with that Paley kick on the Chris Klein. Counter by Sherman. We still have two more left to go. What a takedown by Sherman. Damn. And now the countdown continues. Who's entered number 19? We have two left to, to enter this one. And now Sherman trying to eliminate Chris Klein. And now, back into the max, Richard. Entered number 19 in this one. 
And now Sherman eliminating Chris Klein. And now Sherman trying to eliminate John Pryor. Can he do it? Can he take out John Pryor in this one? Oh, up and over, and there he goes. And now, back into the max, Richard, in, in this one. And I'm wondering, who is the 20th and final entrant in this organized chaos match? We're about to find out right now. And What the? Really? No way. John the Magnum. And <laughs> he has to wave bye-bye to, to John Pryor. <laughs> Man, I was, I was looking forward to to seeing J Magnum and Pryor go at it again but no I mean we're down the, to the final four now we have here Sherman trying to eliminate Mac to the Max Richard Tommy Kazarian trying to eliminate Jonathan Magnum can he do it and now oh what a drop kick and up and over goes Mac to the Max Richard and, and Team 619 has been out of has been taken out of this match and now oh what a hurricanrana there by Mac into the max and now drop kick on a Jonathan Magnum and we're down to the last three forearm shot now forearm shot and as these three just try to just pace it out here try to try to rethink their strategies here because these three know what's up they know what's at stake in this match. I mean, either of these three can win this one. I mean, Tommy Kazarian, I mean, after losing the pro title, can he redeem himself and, and get a shot at the XGW Ultimate? I know he's the current CW Champions League champion. I know Jonathan Magnum held the Ultimate title before. Can he get a chance to try to win it again? Oh, misses that chop. Can Sherman win this one and go after that the ultimate title and complete the the Grand Slam? No one has done it before. No one has ever attempted to try to go for all four titles. And what a double team on the Sherman. And down to these three men. And man. And now... Both these guys, Sherman and, T and Tommy Kazarian, try to eliminate Jonathan Magnum. Can they do it? I mean, can they eliminate him here? They're struggling to, to try to eliminate him, but but Jonathan Magnum able to counter. Damn, form shots there. And what a drop kick there by Sherman. And now. Oh, what an arm drag there by Sherman. I mean, Sherman has been on fire here trying to try to get this victory here. Now, standing moonsault on the Tommy Kazarian. Picking him up here. And now, oh, what a DET there by Kaz. Oh, damn, what a kick right there, that Pele kick. Oh, damn. And now, Kaz with that headlock. Punch to the top of the head. Kick to the midsection. Oh, what a chop. And now, Jonathan Magnum trying to eliminate Tommy Kazarian for the match. Can he do it? And, oh, up and over. And, and Tommy Kazarian has been eliminated. Now, we're down to these two. Man, this should be very interesting to see here. Two fan favorites here. The fans don't know who to who to side with here. Oh, what a chop. And now, Magnum trying to eliminate Sherman here. Man, can Sherman hold on or, or will Magnum send him up and over? And, oh, there we have it. There's our answer. Jonathan Magnum has won it. He has won this 20 man over the top rope organized chaos match. And now he's gonna get his his redemption here after he decided to not cash in this rematch clause last year after losing the XGW Ultimate title.
and now has earned his way back to the main event to win the the XCW Ultimate title in the house five. The question is, will he be the new champion come in the house five or will the great D be able to retain the title? And that's where Jonathan Magnum is going to in the house five, the challenge for the ultimate championship. We're out of time. This has been Hector Diaz. Thanks for watching. Good night.